starting off by taking a few deliberate, deep breaths, so in through the nose and out through the mouth. We're allowing our bodies to become still, becoming aware of our breath as it enters the body and when it leaves the body. Notice the cool air coming in through the nostrils, the lungs and the chest and the stomach expanding, and the warm air leaving the nostrils, and the body relaxing and softening on the out-breath. Taking one more full breath in, and a full breath out. And now allowing the breath to return to its natural rhythm. Noticing that we don't have to do anything special or make any effort to breathe. The body knows exactly what to do. So with each out-breath, we're allowing the body to become heavier, sinking deeper into the chair or into the floor. Breathing in and breathing out. Now bringing our attention to the top of the head and the scalp, feeling whatever is happening in this area. We might be feeling tingling or pulsing, heat or cool. There might be soft vibrations or strong sensations or subtle sensations or maybe we can't feel anything at all. There's no right, there's no wrong. We're just noticing whatever is there. And the mind will get distracted. It's what the mind does. And when it gets carried away on a train of thought, thinking about the day, planning the week ahead, we gently and quietly come back to the sensations of the body. Without giving ourselves a hard time, we patiently come back to the body part that we're scanning and we simply pick up where we left off. Now releasing our attention from the top of the head and lowering our attention to the face, including the forehead and the jaw. The face is somewhere where we often hold tension and not that we're trying to change anything about how our body's feeling, but often simply by bringing attention to a tense area, that part of the body naturally softens and relaxes. So just notice whether or not that's the case. Notice any sensations in the face, nose, lips, eyes, ears, temples, back of the head. If there are no sensations, notice that. And when we're ready, bringing our attention now to the neck and the shoulders, another area that we often carry tension. What sensations can we feel here? Is there, is there any tension or strain? And does bringing our attention to this area change the way it feels? Whatever you feel or don't feel is perfectly fine. We're just observing.
bringing our attention now to both arms, from the shoulders, down the upper arm, the elbows, the forearms, the wrists, noticing any sensations that might be there. Is there coolness or heat, tingling or pulsing, itching or burning or perhaps no sensation? Moving our awareness down to the hands, feeling into the palms of the hands, the back of the hands, the fingers, the thumbs, the space between the fingers. For some people, the hands are an area with lots of sensations, but for others, not so much. So just noticing any sensations that might be present here. And when we're ready, releasing our attention from the hands and bringing awareness to the chest, noticing the rising and the falling of the chest as we breathe. Seeing also if we can feel anything inside the chest, perhaps the heart beating, perhaps the lungs expanding and contracting, or just noticing whatever's there. And the mind will get distracted. It's what the mind does. And when it gets carried away on a train of thought, thinking about the day, planning the week ahead, we gently and quietly come back to the sensations of the body. Without giving ourselves a hard time, we patiently come back to the body part that we're scanning and we simply pick up where we left off. Moving our attention now to our upper back and our middle back. Perhaps there's contact with the floor if we're lying down or contact with a chair if we're sitting down. What sensations can we feel? Perhaps there's pressure, pain or discomfort or tingling or maybe there's no sensation. If you have any discomfort in your body, feel free to move to try and relieve it, but notice all the sensations associated with moving and then come back to the sensations of breathing. best we can, not judging our experience, not labelling our sensations as good or bad, pleasant or unpleasant, 
Just notice what is there, like an, like an impartial observer. And when we're ready, moving our attention now to the lower back, noticing what sensations are there in the lower back. Bringing our attention round to the stomach area, noticing what is to be felt here, the surface of the stomach, the insides of the stomach, seeing if we can notice feelings of digestion, of fullness or emptiness or tightness, observe any sensations of the breath entering the body and leaving the body, the stomach rising on the in-breath and falling on the out-breath. Moving our awareness to the pelvis, the bottom and the hips. Noticing where the body's making contact with the floor or the chair. What sensations are there? The pressure, tingling, hardness, softness. I'm not trying to change anything, simply observing whatever's there. Now bringing our attention to the legs, the thighs, the the hamstrings, in and around the knee joint, the calves and shins, noticing if there's any sensation, perhaps the touch of fabric from your clothes, warmth, coolness, itching, tingling, or maybe there's no sensation. And the mind will get distracted. It's what the mind does. And when it gets carried away on a train of thought, thinking about the day, planning the week ahead, we gently and quietly come back to the sensations of the body. Without giving ourselves a hard time, we patiently come back to the body part that we're scanning and we simply pick up where we left off. Moving our attention to the ankles, the 
the feet, the soles of the feet, the top of the feet, the toes, noticing the space between the toes. What sensations can be felt here? And when you're ready, I invite you to expand your attention so that we include the whole body in our awareness. Noticing that our attention can have a narrow focus while we investigate a particular body part, or we can have a wide focus where we can hold the whole of the body in awareness at once. So bringing now the whole body into awareness from the tips of the toes to the tips of the fingers and the top of the head we're getting a sense of the entire body and all its sensations And as we approach the end of our practice, taking a couple more breaths, feeling the body once again connected to the ground or to the chair, and just noticing how the body's feeling right now. Does it feel differently in any way? We're just noticing. Keeping our eyes closed, we're bringing our attention now to sounds. Sounds inside the room and sounds outside the room. Gently wiggling our fingers and toes. Perhaps having a little stretch. And when you're ready, slowly opening the eyes in your own time and congratulating yourself for having taken time to look after yourself over these last minutes. I hope after this body scan you're feeling a bit more centred, maybe a, a bit more relaxed. And even if there are lots of thoughts running around the mind, don't worry about that. It's perfectly normal. Mindfulness takes practice and the more we do it, the better the results will be. Have a great day.